Today I'm going to show you how to take a stock Saab 93 trailing arm bush and turn it into a heavier duty bush. It's really easy. Stay tuned, let me show you how. This is a new bush, but the design of this bush is such that these two quadrants opposite each other here across the uh, pivot point are solid rubber and these two quadrants perpendicular to the uh, solid rubber are open. The design allows more movement that way than it does that way. You can buy ready-made heavy-duty bushes for this position on the trailing arm and those bushes will do away with that difference in movement completely and so will this what I am uh, about to show you now. First thing to do with this bush is to look through the open portions and make sure that you can actually see right through. I'll put a picture on the screen now of this bush and you can see that you can see through one side but not the other. All you're getting in the middle there is flashing from the tool because the tool is in two halves and opens that way. With a knife, a screwdriver or some other suitable implement, burst through that flashing. The way we're going to achieve making this a heavier duty bush is to fill those cavities. Now obviously we're going to fill them from one side. So on one side, put some tape across the opening just to seal it up. Any tape will do. I'm using a bit of PVC tape here. And we're going to fill that cavity with some PT Flex 85 polyurethane casting rubber. We have used this before. You've seen me use it to make heavy duty uh, top mounts for the front suspension. First, and very importantly, keep your casting rubber and your new bush in the same place somewhere in the house, somewhere where it's averagely warm. It's important as well that we do the mixing and pouring at room temperature. It's, I'm doing this in the kitchen because it's cold outside, only about 2 degrees C, which is way too cold to be using this stuff. It's also important that the rubber and the bush are at a stable, even temperature, because as the rubber sets, shrinkage occurs when temperature change occurs during the setting process. I'll link you to this rubber in the description. You can also get different grades. I'm using the 85, which is the hardest that there is but you can get it uh, down to about 40. The standard hardness of most rubber bushes is around 40, 45, 50. The well-known purple PU bushes are in the region of about 65 and their black counterparts around 90. Follow the instructions with whichever brand of uh, PU rubber you're using. In this instance, they need to be mixed 50-50. So I'm using a aerosol lid as my mixing container and I'm just using another little lid as my measuring jug. We don't need to make up much. There isn't a huge amount of space to be filled in there. And now the second part. Put in the same amount. Then very quickly mix it up. Don't spend too long doing this. 30, 40 seconds tops. And then pour in at one end of the space. Gently and slowly probably about half full so let that settle and I'll put some in the other side fill up each side a little bit at a time keep pouring from the same point so that the uh, mixture can flow into the uh, space but as it comes up towards the top I'm just going to pour a little bit of the last across the full width because all of the time that you're doing this of course your rubber is setting and it's starting to flow a little stiffer the initial cure time of this particular PU rubber uh, is about two hours uh, as specified on the bottle at 20 degrees C. So leave your article alone and allow the rubber to take its initial cure for those two hours. And in true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I prepared earlier for the other side of the car. Once the rubber's had its two hours to uh, take its initial set, remove your tape, well, leave it in a place where the temperature is stable at the same temperature as which you poured at for 24 hours or so to take uh, a full set. So there you go, a pair of uh, Saab 93 trailing arm bushes made into heavier duty bushes, now ready to be fitted to the car. If you fancy a, a little bit of a firmer control over your car from the bushes uh, and you got some value and this has saved you a load of money on buying 
full sets of PU brushes, then maybe you'd like to buy me a coffee. Please like the video down by the title and I shall see you next time.